Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Sussex. In the first part, we cleared the first bit of the tutorial and now I don't know where to go. Uh, get to work on research tasks. Sorry if the PC is a little loud. It's, as I said, it's not the youngest anymore. Also, there's new side quests here. Let's check those out. Maybe we can complete some of those. Also, uh, <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I kind of checked my phone, like I mostly do, and, well, I had 101 subscribers. Incredible. In, really, two months. In two months. I did what took me over a year with my first YouTube channel. And I mean, that's all thanks to you, okay? I thank you a lot, last part, especially at the end, but I can't thank you enough for over 100 subscribers. That is incredible. I mean 101. I think when I went to sleep, I had 98. That means overnight, three people subscribed. Three. I mean, for a small YouTube channel like mine, that's a lot of people. Also, I hope it's not too laggy. Well, whatever. It looks fine enough. Well, off we go. Time to work on some research tasks, apparently. So, last part, I promised to break the game, and, well, I have a small plan for that. Righto, let's get to it, shall we? Research tasks. Well, Research tasks earn you points, and these points are used to rank up. Uh, the further you rank up, uh, dodge? Yeah, we know how to dodge, just press Y. It's a really cool mechanic, it makes you completely invincible, it's basically like Dark Souls, but like, everything has to have a dodge attack. Anyhow, so, the further you rank up, the better the Pokeballs are that you can craft, and the more Pokemon will obey you. You can see where this is going, can you? So, okay, we can't go everywhere, because we can barely climb any, uh, any hills. But, there's a small thing we can do. Just after getting this dodge roll explanation, we can just head out here and capture more Pokemon. For example, this Shinx right here is level 6 already. As long as it doesn't attack too much, we can take it out with two embers. Because there's a research task for that. Number defeated, and since it's quite the high level, Save your progress. Sorry, I save quite often. Also, I forgot which... Ah, downwards, not upwards. Numerically, that's much better. For example, Shinx. Research tasks. And you need to have research level 10, so you have to have 10 points. And number caught gives you double points, meaning you have we have 3 points on this thing. Starly, also 3. And Bidoof, one, uh, no, two. Now, it would of course be quite easy to just defeat a lot of Pokemon. But, catching them is much more efficient. And of course, we want to catch as many Pokemon as possible, so we can't go around and stay in one area forever. Oh, a Wimple! That's what I need for a side quest. Bleh, poison. Let's throw a Pokeball, it's only level 3. Also, we can always heal our Pokemon at the tent and can go back there at any time we want. 
Hooray, we caught a Wumble. Let's fight this Shinx. This one's only level 4. Ember is of course stronger because it's stabbed, meaning same type of attack bonus, but you should probably know that. What? Why does this thing get to attack twice, but I don't? Oh yeah, right, we can technically um, have... Yeah, it's really easy to catch Pokemon in this one. There's also bonus points for uh, having Pokemon use certain moves. I'll just level up my Cyndaquil to its maximum level. Which is level 100 in this game as well as any other Pokemon game. But, we can just do some research tasks. It's fairly easy to complete research tasks quickly. Also, I need to adjust the switch screen at some point. Alright, items. And catch it. So, there may be a lot of Shinx right here, so it might seem like a lot of Pokemon have aggressive dispositions. But realistically, most of them can be caught without them even spotting you. So now we check the Pokedex for Shinx down here. And we have 4, 8, 9. So we need one more. And we should be able to clear out Shinx. So let's just have it use Quick Attack a few more times. Oh yeah, also if you click Y you can see the attack order. Blue is us, red is the opponent. And another one. Of course, I could level them to research rank, I don't know what, perfect, which would require me to level them to very high levels, because you need to see them use strong type, strong style moves and all. I mean, look, you need to see it use bite, you need to evolve, uh, obtain different forms, which is male and female, and you need to evolve them. Surely that's hard, but um, once you slowly get going, and your Pokemon becomes stronger and stronger, you can just defeat more and more and more opponents. Also right here we can just throw a few Pokeballs at Bidoof. And that gives us some EXP too. That's good and all, but that doesn't really break the game. We've gotten like, what, 5 points for Bidoof and barely completed Jinx. That's not too insane. Alright, let's catch a Stanley right here. Very nice, I think it hasn't spotted us. Okay, that one has spotted us though. What? Whoops. Uh, yeah, no, it has. <gasps> oh, Ponyta! I don't know what Ponyta is. Is this a Pokemon that runs away? Well, no matter, you can just throw an Orenberry. It'll smell that. Run over. And run into range to be caught. If we get lucky. Which we did. Ponyta is sadly only evolving at level 40. So yeah, we're gonna need a while ever to evolve that or just to wait until we can evolve that in a later area. But catching Pokemon is basically the main thing you can do. Also walking through water is extremely slow. But as you have seen, there's also rewards for giving Pokemon food. For example, if you feed Ponyta five times, you get extra research task points. So we can combine that with catching ones, uh, with catching Ponyta, 
For example, if we go down here, ponyta, times you've given it food, number you've caught. And of course we can defeat the move water type moves to uh, gain even more points. Okay, now this is all a bit boring, I can imagine. Okay, level 10, cool. And that's a move mastered. It's the last thing I gonna ex I'm gonna explain before we get into the, um, well, real big things. I mean, that's a real big thing. Also, you can get some rare items from these stones. That is an alpha Pokemon. Actually, two more things. Alpha Pokemon are strong and large. And well, this thing is level 40. And basically the only Rapid Dash you can encounter in the wild. If you're quiet... Throw some food. It notices. If you're really, really careful, aim... You're not really able to catch it, though, you're f far too low of a level. Not only because your Pokémon are too low level, and it would literally just obliterate your entire team, but because you don't have a high star rank. You can of course try it multiple times, but it's not gonna go in. It's just gonna escape every time and then hunt you down. So, running away and Going back to the camp once you're out of sight is probably always the best idea for these Pokemon. Now we're back at camp. You might say, okay, uh, that was a little boring. And sure it was, but I have another thing up my sleeve. Not really, uh, not literally, of course. Um, but, fun thing is, uh, oh, by the way, the mastered moves mean you can use the strong style and the agile style version. Agile makes you move um, faster in the move priority list, but it makes it weaker. And strong style makes it more accurate and stronger, but slower in the priority list. Alright. So, if we go over here, there's a few other Pokemon. Of course, there's the same Shinx, Starly. And all that stuff. But, this is not really our final destination. I'll just defeat most Shinx I come across. Ugh, they're really strong. Of course, we can just rest at the tent camp. But, another thing, as I already said, multitasking is easy. If we look at Cyndaquil here, we've seen it use Ember and Quick Attack quite a few times. This amounts to enough points, it should at least 8, 10, 11, yeah. But, we haven't seen its full potential. For example, we haven't seen it use Flame Wheel, or Strong Style moves, or whatnot. So, by sneaking up on it, I can just show you a nice Strong Style move. BAM! That catches Pokémon unawares and makes them not only easier to catch, but also... So... Yeah, okay, here you can see it. Move in. 30 power, but faster. 50 power, but slower. But since Jinx can't move either way, we can just hit it with the strong quick attack. And then we can just use another agile style quick attack to not only cover two quick attacks, but also cover strong and agile style move for the first time. Really good. There's also level 9 Jinx here. Oh, and also there's more Wurmple down here. And some stronger Pokemon will start appearing around this area. 
Of course, we can try and catch Wurmple without them seeing us, but that's boring. Oh, spoiled apricorn. So, the spoiled apricorn, really interesting, can be used to stun Pokemon. Only after a few throws, though. I'll just try and catch that Wurmple without it seeing me. It probably saw me already. Yeah, it was saw me already. But Wurmple is really not that intelligent. So you can just catch it. Also, you can freely catch all the Pokemon and they'll just be sent to your box. Also, we can already evolve Pokemon. By pressing X and then do it. And you can freely trade out your Pokemon at any tent camp. Fairly easy. And it transforms into... Cascoon. Of course I'm gonna just catch Wurmple and evolve them wildly because Cascoon and Silcoon are fairly hard to get research points for and they're really rare. Number your caught without being spotted, nice. We need to complete that too, of course you can just feed them. But that costs you orange berries and before you get a lot of those, I would really recommend just sneaking up on them. See? That's enough of it. Okay, sure. Boring, boring, boring. But if we dash over here... Can we actually go up there? Oh, it's a Graveler! And it's level 26. Uh... Thanks for using iron defense, cause there's no way we're defeating this thing. Come on, Jinx. <laughs> and that gives us another tasks, a task. So Geodude, we haven't seen one of those, but Graveler can also leap out of all deposits. I mean, Geodude can do that too, sure, but they're far further down. That also gives us a bit more stuff, but we haven't caught one, so it doesn't count. Also, this lad, well, Snorlax here, isn't really that aggressive. I mean, you just shouldn't attack him or bother him. But if you feed him, he's, well, I think he has a 0.1 chance of being catchable or something. I don't know, I'm pretty sure he's uncatchable before a certain point. But you can still feed him. Just throw him a berry. And the Red Cross, as you saw, makes him uncatchable. Watch out now. Because now, it begins. Sorry for making you wait for so long and dragging this out, but here we go. Luxio. If you're really quiet, you can throw a Pokeball at it. Perfect. Damn it. Strategy. And stay in the grass. This way it won't immediately see you once it breaks out of the Pokeball. Same thing over and over and over. It takes a while. Also, I would recommend running away if it spots you. And... Don't fight it, it's way too strong, it's level 17. But that's exactly where we want to have it, it's strong. And... Yes, there we go. We got a level 17 Luxio. And you know what the best part is? This also counts towards our very nice total number. Pokedex entries. Now, we've only caught one, and we haven't seen much of it, but we can of course catch more. And now that we have a stronger Pokemon, we can take on stronger Pokemon in this area, because this area is riddled with them. Luxio, Kadabra, Staravia.
Oh, and we caught another one. Perfect. Bam. Iron Chunk. We'll need that for a, another Pokeball type later on. Also, Staravia is easier, uh, is more likely to spot us. But apparently, it has some issues coming up here. Damn it. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Yeah, and weirdly enough, once you walk out of off of ledges, you just gain a bit of speed. Like, I don't know why. And you can't climb up ledges at any point. You'll just slide them uh, down those things. Except if you do it at a very specific angle with a roll. Which is really weird considering that these ledges aren't too steep sometimes. But for now, I'll just return to the Fearlands camp and report my things. So now we went <laughs> not halfway across the Fearlands, but just a bit through. Wait, does he just not want to re register the research tasks? <sighs> Damn it. So now he hasn't registered the research tasks. Which is dumb, because I thought he did that. He'd do that, whatever. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, we have to listen to Ray now, who basically tells us catch Pokemon this way, that way, and how you can obtain research points. Okay, Ray, what do you have to tell us? Blah, 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 focus Pokemon. Look, it's a Bidoof. Of course, you can just catch a hundred of each Pokemon or something like that, or defeat all of them and you'll be set. But of course, there's only a limited number of Pokemon in each area. But you can just wildly throw Pokeballs. And now I've caught six of them. I've already caught a Stardy Ray, please. We have to listen to Ray in order to complete our research tasks. Apparently. On the way there, maybe I can get a Stardy. Yep, that should be fine. Oh, it broke out. Okay, fine enough. Well, um, since in the Obsidian Fieldlands there's enough Pokemon to basically get to research rank, I don't know what, 10. You can essentially just... whatever. You can essentially just get the best Pokeballs in the game and then clear everything. And there we go, new Pokemon, Buizel. Also, don't black out. And off he goes. Really? Follow him even further? Well, maybe I can complete some Wurmple tasks on the way. Okay, that one noticed us, sadly. Maybe that one didn't. Where is it? It just disappeared. Okay, fine enough. Yeah, you can send out multiple Pokemon at once to have them clear berry trees. And we got a crafting kit. That's very handy because if we run out of Pokeballs, we can just make new ones. Really cool, huh? Of course, we need special materials. And certain crafting recipes we can buy later. Also, 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 because I said also probably like five times already. <laughs> Unreported research tasks 39, I think. Yep. So, 
That's a lot, huh? We're supposed to report back, get our stuff and go. But as long as I have Pokeballs left, I will start I won't stop catching Pokemon. There is very interestingly an alpha breezel in the area, which is the only big breezel in this area. Oh! We have another Pokemon that can evolve. Cascoon. Oh, and if you evolve say Wurmple into Cascoon, that counts as evolve one. But if you evolve Cascoon into Dustox, that also counts as evolving one. So you have technically evolved two Cascoons. You have evolved into one and you have evolved from one. Which is cool. If you you can also change moves. Oh hey cool, ours hasn't now has gotten rollout. Do you see this one? I think that's the alpha. No, it isn't. I think we also have to... <laughs> yeah, sometimes Pokemon are just offset weirdly. Sometimes we can try and catch them without them spotting us. Oh, this one spot us now. Gonna do a quick style quick attack. A, it deals less damage, and B, it completes more tasks. Cause I really, really, really wanna get the shiny charm as early as possible. Yeah, spoilers, you get the shiny charm at research rank 10. And since we did two quick style moves in succession with quick attack, which already has priority, we can just catch this weasel in the third turn without it damaging us, or even getting to move. Nice. Oh, Eevee! I have to get this. Eevee is really, really, really rare, like in most Pokemon games. And it is really impish, so if you are quiet... Also, its catch rate isn't too high, I think. Shh, I need to get the special one. Now, retreat into the grass. Please. Yes! Let's go! I got an Eevee! Of course we'll need more of those, but we can also catch some evolutions later on. Alright, let me check. What else can we do here? Not much, really. I think we might just... How many Pokeballs do we have left? Three. Um, I might just look for the Alpha Weasel somewhere around here, right? Oh, there's also some on the other side of the river. Hmm. Yeah... As you saw with the Alpha Rapidash, they're really large, and since <laughs> the assets are loading in, just like popping in, the render distance is really low, apparently. Yeah, let's just fight that one. Strong Style Quick Attack! Time to see some more Strong Style moves! That, of course, deals a lot of damage. I'll just dull. That lets us move another time, meaning we can use items. We can also move during battle, and if we go too far, we can just run away automatically. Which is honestly really good, considering that some alpha Pokemon are really, really strong, and you just can just run away. I think, at least. Oh! Yeah, Pokemon can drop items too. Right. That's another bit of stuff. Oh yeah, and tumble stones can be used to make pokeballs. We have two pokeballs. We can also buy every item, which is... Oh, this one's sleeping. That gives us a very high chance of catching it. Alright, let's head back to the professor and Sadly, we don't get to listen to the music that much. Because every time you're in the high grass, the music gets tuned down. Every time you fight a Pokemon, the music gets turned off. Which is really sad, because 
This music is really nice. In this game it's quite ambient. Also the trees look like they're sick, honestly. <laughs> like they have so little leaves and all of the leaves, like those are supposed to be trees with pine needles. The graphics are just not that good in this game, I wish they had improved it. But I'm not modding my new Switch in order to improve graphics, no matter how bad the Pokemon games can be, because this game is really good. I like it a lot. Okay. We've got a lot of tasks done. And I've bored you a lot with the DLRs, but that's what the second part was for. The story continues tomorrow in the third part. Also, the more Pokemon we catch and the more stuff we achieve, the more money we get. And... I thought my phone was ringing for some reason. For example, we've completed Cyndaquil. We haven't completed Bidoof yet for some... <sighs> We're still a... We still need to evolve one, which takes a bit longer because some of the Pokémon aren't too high of a level. So we've got 970 points. That brings us to Research Rank 1. Oh well, we can still get that. So you might say, okay, that's boring and all. But the good thing is, the longer we do this, the faster we are getting to um, new and stronger Pokemon. But of course, we will need some more. So let's see what we made for today. Quite a bit of stuff. Um, research rank 10 takes a while. Sure. Now Sailing goes like, hmm, excellent. The first star of 10. I think from star 5 onwards, yeah, level 20 Pokemon will now obey you. Crafting recipe for heavy balls. One black tumblestone. We haven't gotten one of those. And we can now craft revives, which is really good. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Getting to work on research tasks. Completed. So, either I'll do some research tasks off screen, which would be a little boring, or I'll just cut them out while having the recording on, which would also be a possibility. But, who knows. Anyhow, these basic Pokemon won't yield a lot of research task points. But... Of course... We can still get more, and we will get more, because we can just put some strong Pokemon in, or fight against some strong Pokemon. Now Ray wants to battle us, in order to prove our worth, but whatever. Not today, because today, I think, it is fine if I end it here. Thank you for watching, thank you for 100 subscribers, I promise I'll make my videos a little more interesting. and. If you want to see Pokemon Fusion rather than Pokemon Legends Arceus, um, I can do that. I can try. So, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.